Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can install Minecraft Pocket Edition on your PC or a laptop. And now on your PC or laptop, you can um, already play basically every version of Minecraft. you got Minecraft Java, Minecraft Bedrock, and even Minecraft Preview and Education Edition. And I'm actually going to show you how you can play Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is the version for your phone, which is basically the same as Minecraft Bedrock Edition, on your PC or laptop. A good use for this would, for example, to be if you've already been playing Minecraft on your phone or tablet and you've now switched to a PC or laptop. However, you can't afford Minecraft Bedrock Edition or you don't want to buy Minecraft Bedrock Edition, so you want to play Minecraft Pocket Edition, which if you already owned it over on your phone or tablet, you'll be able to put on your um, device for free as well. So well, let's get right in. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the top link in the description and download this program called BlueStacks right here. Um, there we go, you can click on that and then you want to click on this right here as well. And that's just going to install BlueStacks 10, which is the latest version of BlueStacks. And what BlueStacks is going to allow you to do is it's basically going to allow you to install the store on your laptop or PC that's going to allow you to get Minecraft Pocket Edition. BlueStacks has finished installing and as you can see it's actually automatically opened up right here. Yeah, um, now if it doesn't automatically open up then you can click on the BlueStacks X icon which um, should be on your desktop um, together with two other icons as well now obviously you can just delete these icons if you want and then you can access all your apps through windows um, menu or anything like that anyways right here in the menu you want to go over to the play store because um, you know that's where we're gonna uh, download minecraft pocket edition from however you'll need to sign in first I've uh, logged on to the Google Play Store and as you can see we are now basically just in the Google Play Store but then on your laptop or PC which is uh, pretty cool. Anyways in the top here we can just search for Minecraft. It's already in my search bar as you can see and it should just be the top result. We can select that and basically it's that simple we can click on install right here and now I already owned this um, and if you did too on your mobile device then you can download this for free from here as long as you logged in with the same account if you cannot download it for free and it prompts you to pay then Th then you have to have logged in with a different account than the one that it's registered to. Yeah, so you need to take a very good note of that. Anyways, this is just going to install. Minecraft is now installed, as you can see. And instead of clicking play over here, because that's kind of dull, we'll head home um, so I can show you how you would normally do it. Yeah, you know, you're opening up BlueStacks, and then you'll actually just see your apps right over here as you can see we got minecraft right here and then we can just click on that and then uh, this little pop up will pop up um, you can click on do not show again and then do it later yeah and then this is going to open up and this is obviously gonna prompt you to sign in um, and I'm not actually just gonna do that right now so um, so yeah we're here I've gotten the sunny skin for some reason and um, this is a Minecraft pocket edition right here you can sign in of course all the stuff you want um, you've got a kind of weird big cursor you can actually change your cursor through blue stacks I think um, anyways we can uh, we can create a new world right here and then um, just create a random new world real fast so here we are loaded into a new world with all the default settings which hurts me quite a bit because I've got my settings tweaked to exactly how I like them 
and not to how the game likes them. I've got bobbing off and I'm way less zoomed in than this and my hand doesn't shake when I move. But okay, uh, aside from that, you know, um, you can of course change all your settings as well. And we are we are playing Minecraft. It's all fine. You can just use your regular mouse and um, or touchpad. I don't recommend touchpad. Um, oh, auto jumps on. Ew. Uh, you can you can use your mouse. I really recommend a mouse. Um, if you don't have a mouse, you can use and you you can buy one for like less than five dollars somewhere um or euros or whatever um i it, it's i highly recommend to play with a mouse but of course you can also play with a touchpad if that's your thing anyways um so in settings over here you can go over to um controls and we've got the keyboard and mouse controls on right now yeah, and in here you can obviously change all your hotkeys and whatnot and what you want to do what. You can tune these exactly to your liking and if you mess it up you can change them back to the default settings. Um, so, this is the touch controls, yeah, and you might have asked that actually, um, depending on like you know the way this installs, it might actually be touch controls by default in your case and then you just need to go into settings and just change it over to the uh, to keyboard and mouse yeah and uh, yeah that's that's basically it um, I also actually have a video on exactly how you can um, transfer worlds over from mobile onto your laptop so that you can get all your worlds um, and stuff like that that was on your um, on your phone or um, on your tablet right over onto your laptop. I will link that in the description for you guys. Um, and also one other thing is I definitely recommend to take some more looks at um, BlueStacks. BlueStacks is an amazing program. You can do so much with it. Um, and you know there's really a lot to explore there as well. Anyways, for right now guys, thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.